extremely curious and loving and full of energy. She is unable to come to school based on a medical condition. The slightest cold can cause some serious harm to him. So as a result, he has very limited um, interaction with anyone other than his family. School to him was a very abstract concept. He didn't understand what school was, what school looked like because he'd never been in a school. And his mom was extremely excited about the possibility of him meeting friends and teachers. So our goal this year was to introduce Aiden to the school setting and meet his classmates and teachers without being able to physically come here. We used video conferencing. Hi Aiden! When I approached me about Aiden video conferencing into the classroom, I was excited for the opportunity to help this child be able to come into a classroom and have that experience that he wasn't able to have. The first time we had Aiden video conference into the classroom, it was on a Friday, and so it was just the teachers in the classroom. Can you hear me? He and I got his iPad ready, and I had kind of prepared him to let him know who he would be seeing on the iPad, and maybe some things that he would see in the classroom. So he was extremely excited when Miss Holly and Miss Erica appeared, and they said hello to him, and he said hello back. They're gonna move the camera around, and they're gonna take us to different parts of the room. <gasps> what do you see? So Holly and I were able to move the laptop around and show Aiden some of the different areas where the children play in the classroom. And we have the kitchen area. Stove. See the stove and the sink? He realized that they were live and that they could hear him. He realized that this was a teacher that would be interested in his interests and so he wanted to talk a lot about the things that he likes to do. And I see him. Polar bear. So, polar bear. During the first visit, we realized that Aiden was very interested in talking about Angry Birds and the zoo, as those were meaningful experiences for him. So we were able to utilize those then later on when we would have him connect with the children and talk to the kids in the class. It was really exciting to watch him meet these teachers and realize that he was making a connection between the video and being at school. So, you kids. Yeah, that's Aiden. Everyone, can you say hi to Aiden? Hi. He eventually met his classmates, and as can be expected with preschoolers and videos, there was a lot of getting up close to the camera, and so they were just kind of introducing themselves. My name is Giovanni. And my name. It was just what you would expect with a little boy who hadn't met children very often and was just really excited to see all these faces in the camera. Hi. Is that my school? That is this yours. is your school, Aiden. He talked about them afterwards and wondered where they were going because once we had to say goodbye, I tried to explain that they were, you know, it was their time to go home. Um, and, you know, he just he just wanted more and more and um, he wanted to see them uh, again. And we called them by name and we kind of talked about, you know, who he had met and, and what he had seen. So there are many different programs you can use to have a child video conference into the classroom, Skype or FaceTime. We chose Uvu because we were able to record the sessions and we were able to use those for reflection and documentation. All right. Hi. Hi, Aiden. We had Aiden join the class during our dialogic reading, which is done in small groups. So I had half the class reading a story. He's trying to tell you that he has the same book. You have the same book. We do too. Good. We're ready. Let's open it up. I would send Megan a list of the stories that we'd be reading so that Aiden had some background knowledge about the book. And that allowed Aiden to attend better during the story and have some of the benefit of the dialogic reading program from home. During one of the early video conferences, I realized that the children were distracted by the laptop and the image of themselves and Aiden. So I needed to modify dialogic reading. I had to simplify the process. It changed the way I would do the sequence in order to keep the children all attending. Aiden, do you want to try to say that tricky word? See anemone. 
You and me. Good job. Yeah, that's a tricky word. I had to make sure that I would ask Aiden questions. Due to the technology, there was a little lag time in his comments, and so that added to the classroom management of keeping the kids interested in the story and keep Aiden part of the small group circle. I wanted to make sure that Aiden was a part of the circle, that he wasn't a computer, but he was Aiden, and that he felt like he was participating, even though it's not quite the same as if he were there. We felt like he was a part of the classroom. Hi, everybody. Hi, Megan. Hi, Aiden. The boy, Maymay. Uh, hi, Aiden. Can you see the kids? Hi. Aiden was excited to see his classmates, but I think his greatest connection was with Miss Erica. And there would be times where I would try and whisper in his ear and he would say, you need to be quiet, I'm listening to Miss Erica, which is when I realized that he really connected with her and I needed to just take a step back and let him have his time with his teacher. One of the things that we did that was very helpful was a debriefing session as a team after each interchange with Aiden. We learned along the way the importance of reflecting on the sessions and offering feedback as to what went well and what didn't go well. Sometimes it was about the technology and sometimes it was about the lesson and the feedback that Erica needed from me as far as, you know, maybe repeating what Aiden said. It took, you know, just a little extra time to work through some of the challenges in the beginning to make sure that we had the best setting possible. Say it again. Would you say animal? Don't worry. So thanks. And I hear the monkeys surf fighting and, and they said, <laughs> That's silly. One of the goals Megan had was to connect Aiden socially in the classroom. So we chose a different time block when the children are engaged in learning centers and have children come over and talk to Aiden. Several children were very eager to have that opportunity. They wanted to each talk about their own agendas and, and they would want to show each other their toys. You know, it's what occurs in the sandbox when the kids are playing at the park. It's what happens when children are meeting new friends and a new opportunity. And, and Aiden's limited in having those interchanges. So it was really nice that he was able to have that social time with the kids as well as the instructional story time. It was very sweet got a bookshelf like every kid should have so and that credit goes all to you Kelly because um, I know this has not necessarily been the profession you chose for yourself but you're doing an amazing job. Well we had the opportunity to connect with Kelly Aiden's mom for the IEP meeting and I thought it would be really nice to be able to see Kelly in a very large image and so in my office I happen to have a large monitor we're working on letters or sounds or numbers or you know whatever the task is for the day he seems to you know have a minute or two and then he wants to go do something else or he wants to turn it into a, an angry birds game mm -hmm. well you can use the angry birds and run you know run with that or the zoo items whichever it is it's more useful for whatever activity you're doing I mean, oftentimes we incorporate the children's interests as often as we can, as it really does help um, increase the attention. But if he's able to hear a story for 10, 15, 20 minutes, and he's able to attend... We had Megan here, myself, Tammy, and in addition, we also had the speech language person in our building, Kate. And the IEP meeting was a nice interchange for Kate and Kelly. They were able to really get some specifics that really targeted some of the things that Aiden needed help with. Miracles, but I'm just wondering if there's little things that we can work with verbally that might just help. Yeah, I think, um, I think... What I remember about the IEP meeting is just the engagement that Kelly had and she just was very happy. It seemed like she was very grateful that we were taking the time and to be able to uvu in with her and to work around her schedule. Talking about Nick's steps and strengths was nice. To simulate any amount of peer pressure or you know socialization, it, it's hard, and, and that's really where we struggle and we lack because we're confined. Mm -hmm. So I, I am loving the opportunity to get Uvu with the class. He, it is 
It's amazing. I consider it quite a neat opportunity as well to get to know him, and he's just adorable and sweet, and he's a ton of fun. The kids really enjoy that interaction as well with him. It was a very meaningful experience for Aiden, and it was very meaningful for all of us involved, and it was a neat opportunity, and we're very thankful that we each could participate in this. Well, I just want to say thank you again how great this whole computer thing has been. It has been phenomenal how much he understands about it, we now will drive past a school and say, Mommy, is that my school? Like, he associates an actual building from home with school now. And he loves the kids. He talks about them all the time. And Miss Erica, he thinks you guys are best friends. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. He even blew them kisses the other day. Oh, like, I didn't catch that. Love you. <laughs> I'm trying to circle the kids to get everybody a chance to get in there because they all want to interact with him. This has been a gift for Aiden. Aiden's family and I have really appreciated all that the preschool has been willing to do to make sure that Aiden gets this chance. Not all schools are as open-minded and as willing to make the extra effort. As a teacher, sometimes I could be occupied with the glitches, the struggles, and my inability with the technology and feel that frustration. But when you know that you're helping a child make the connection to a classroom and learn about how meaningful it was for him, it makes it worthwhile. And so you're willing to push through those challenges and learn what needs to be done on the technology end so that you can provide that opportunity to be connected with a teacher in a classroom and, and have an opportunity he doesn't have any other way. Thank you.